You guys surviving well? You want to listen, Alex? You want to get on? Up to you. Uh, I'm just going to... Topic is how to stay... Slowly, everyone's dreaming in here. Yeah, we, um, I was a little busy, guys. Started this one hour later. Might bring on someone here. Try a different format today. Zombie hours, guys. I'm telling you, man. Zombies, zombies, zombie, P-G-Y. Oh my goodness, look at this. Gov X still going. The easiest way to make money, guys, if you're short sellers, trade in short in the morning, the first hour of the day. And then you leave during the week, um, midday and then come back during the reversal hours. Someone asked me about the best times to trade. If you're a long bias trader, stick around zombie hour, man. You squeeze people like PGY. So take a look at all these charts like PGY and find a commonality, guys. Um, Gov X, look at the time that it squeezed. There is, is it a coincidence or is it not? You know, you guys determine that. Um, make the money the easiest way possible, guys. It's not about trying to look cool. All right, wait for a little more people come in. I think uh, people don't know I'm starting this thing late, so. It's pretty foggy here. Let me take a look uh, outside. Smog. I don't even know it's fog down in LA. I'm in Los Angeles right now, guys. Oh my goodness. It's. All right, let's start. All right, guys. How's you guys doing today? A lot, a lot of movers lately, guys. A lot of movers. But with a lot of these movers, it's tricky. You know, they, they work. You know, when you least expect it, guys, it works. Because you, know, you stick the process, it works. The problem is when you go back to the well too many times when you overtrade. So these markets, guys, be very, very, very careful about overtrading. You know, you can go from big green day to big red day very fast due to traps. Because what, what happens is you overtrade. What does overtrading mean? Overtrading means, you know, it's kind of like first you start trading the A plus setups and the A plus and the A setups and the B setups, and pretty soon you have a cushion. And so what happens when you have a cushion is you use the cushion game. We talk about this a lot, right? You find all my videos on cushion game. Um, and so what happens, once you build a cushion, you start to gamble, become loosey-goosey, right? You start, just like, you know, nibble, take your toe in the water, next thing you know, boom, you're stuck in the trade, lose all your profits for the day, and now you're revenge trading. And that's over trading, guys. Over trading means, you know, man, your day is over. All the good sets are done. But the fact that you won't leave, you won't leave because you're, you're up, you know, and then you want to make more is the greed. So over trading is when you start trading things which you would normally not trade had you, you know, had you had better trades. So, you know, it's very difficult to not over trade. Because uh, there's a fine line between trying to make more money and just kind of slowly bleeding it back. And this is why you know yourself, guys. At the end of the day, trading becomes discipline. Once we teach you the strategies, the process, it becomes your discipline, your willpower to walk the fuck away. And this is why we always tell people, do not quit your day job. Do not quit your day job. Supplement your income, day trade, and supplement your income, guys. Because, you know, you go, you fucking make your money in the morning, you go fucking go, go to work, enjoy your life. And by supplementing your income, you can now choose the job that you like to, to work at, not necessarily forced to work. And that's the beauty of supplementing your income through a different source, such as day trading, guys. So, and so with that in mind, you know, there's a lot of ne negativity going around in the press, recession, Biden, all these things, taxes, whatever it may be, guys. So what do you do? Same thing as you always do during the bull market. Same thing, man. Go live your life, but live it in the sense of the, you know, the perspective, right? And so uh, just because there's a bear market doesn't mean that what? You're, you're going to stop eating food? You still got to eat. You still got to budget. So the same principles apply during a bull market that you are during the recession, guys. You know, if you're saving, you're going to save. The problem is if you keep spending during the bull market, you're going to keep spending during the recession, you're going to go broke. 
So it's the same thing, same thing with trading. So when you wake up in the morning, oh, the market started down today. What do you do? You stick to your process. Your process is what you got you here, right guys? And so what happens is you can change your process. And the thing, that's the thing people don't understand. You can, you, you don't have to stick to the same process. The process refines itself over time. You change it over time. You know, you make it better and the markets change and so you must adapt to the markets. And so that's why we always say you adapt or you die, right? It's a Darwinism, survival of the fittest, right? And so with that in mind, guys, you know, stay focused. Going on Twitter is a bunch of bullshit. You know, I, I used, I love Twitter. I used to love Twitter because I, back then there was nobody helping people day trade, to learn day trade. And so we, we started to do that. And now people are just trolling everybody back and forth. I don't know what the reason is. I'm not going to get into that game. I'm just staying positive. And so the moment that you stay positive, it's when you win. You know, so much wasted energy, hating on others, trolling on others, and all this stuff. For what? Competition to make yourself seem better than you are? Who cares if you're good or not, right guys? At the end of the day, we are judged, not necessarily by what materialistic shit we have, but how we impact the world. How many people you've changed, right? And so you can be famous and, and be a Hitler, or you can be famous and be like, someone that changed the world like Einstein right you know so there's many ways to gain popularity and all that so but the keys I'm trying to tell you guys stay focused forget all this shit on social media or all that guys because what's gonna happen is this man recessions are hitting really hard in my opinion this is just getting started Biden is trying to convince everybody we're not in a recession so if this is not a recession where we have two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth then imagine his definition of recession. His definition of recession might be a depression to the point where the economic collapse. Then he'll say, oh yeah, we are now in a recession. So keep that in mind. Housing is dropping everything. So bottom line, guys, I'm preparing you guys to save money, budget yourself, work hard. During these times, the recessionary um, depression, recession, all that, that's how people become really rich. You either go bankrupt or you become really rich, guys. So plan, plan, plan. Same thing with trading. Okay, everything relates back to trading because this is a trading channel. And I'm telling you right now, guys, learn to fucking do risk management. Risk management is the only thing that's keeping everybody alive who's been alive for 20 years trading, okay? You have all these guys who are you have all these guys who made a lot of money last year or the year before. Now they're blowing up because they have no risk management. Back back then, the stock kept on going up, 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 up. You could buy the dip, buy the dip, and then eventually go back up. Same with crypto. Crypto guys got rich because all they did was buy, 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 and hold, 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 hold. And how did that work out for them, right? The ones that sold, made money. The one that held, now lost all their money. Okay, guys? So make a plan. This is my point to you. Okay, you only get lucky so many times. I've been waiting for a recession hit for so long. I've been storing cash. I've been trying to make a plan, maybe buy real estate, things like that, guys. So make a plan, okay? Make a fucking plan. And same thing with trading, guys. Trading, there's a lot of opportunities out there. But with a bear market, it's just less opportunities, okay? It's less opportunities. And once again, you don't have to go long. You can learn to short sell stocks, right? That's what MIC does. But the point is just... Avoid all this gloom and doom. I'm a very positive individual, guys. When I see doom and gloom, I think opportunity. That's how I think. The, you know, the grass always greener. There's a silver lining. But think of that as an opportunity, guys. So when you see these guys complaining on Twitter, when they see you, when they, when you see guys trolling, you must wonder yourself. Their life must be so shitty behind the scenes where they must go and talk and put people down online that they don't know, right? Things like that. So you, I use it as a gauge, you know, an economic um, and also a mental psychological gauge as to the economy. When I see guys out there who normally don't troll, who make money train supposedly, and who starts to start to troll all of a sudden, you must know that something is going on. And so you, you should feel that you're not the only one that's going through issues, guys. So this is not meant to be a, a psychological lesson by me. I, mean, uh, I didn't know the topic today because I want to mix it up. Um, we can talk about training if you want. So let's. So I want to do this. It's been a while. I want to take questions now, guys. Let me field questions because Alex is out um, I, on personal stuff this week. And so I'm going to change the format a little bit. So uh, ask away, guys. I'm going to take some questions because I really don't know what to say right now because I don't want to keep talking about the same old trading stuff over and over. It gets really boring, right? Um, there's a lot of videos that we have out there. And so 
you know, you can watch it. But for this week, let's let's see if I can answer some of your questions. It could be life coaching. It could be anything you want, guys. It does not have to be trading related. Let's see what I'm trading here. You want to see some six charts? I'll show you some six charts. <laughs> Um, I posted them on Twitter, guys. So, you know, if you want to go to Twitter, see my charts, then you can ask me questions as well. How do you cope with losing money? Oh, first of all, I came from no money. <laughs> so having any money is good. <laughs> so coping with no money, I've already coped it growing up in a poor environment. The problem is if you are sheltered, if your parents pretended they had money, and never taught you the value of a dollar, how hard it is to make a dollar. You will never ever learn. And that's why you need to go into a rehab and go into a, see a psychiatrist because you have no money. I mean, dude, most people do not have money. There's very few people that have money around the world. And most of them reside in the United States. You know, I come from outside the United States. I'm an immigrant. I had no fucking money growing up. So coping with money is no issue. Coping with making money, that's the issue. Having money is the fucking issue for most, in my opinion. They don't know how to handle money. They do drugs. They get lazy. They start fights. They, they become materialistic. They, they become arrogant. And so coping with making money is more of an issue for me than to not have money. Sometimes I wish I don't have money. Like, you know, I went through bad relationships where I just, I just threw, I threw away money so I can leave the relationship. Things like that, guys. So um, how do you cope with... Losing money, you're lucky to have money to lose. So what you do is this. You learn and you invest in yourself, guys. First thing you do is get rid of all the bullshit that you don't need. All these materialistic bullshit. You have, must ask yourself, why am I buying all these materialistic bullshit? Is it because I want to impress someone that I feel bad for myself, that I need to wear some fancy clothes, or do I really like it? If you really like something, it's completely fine. But if you're doing just a showboat, fake it till you make it, then that's a problem. When your camera was flipped, we could see your nuts. <laughs> yeah, right here. <laughs> These nuts. <laughs> Any, uh, what's another question, guys? Yeah, Feng Shui. <laughs> you know what, man? I'm, I'm a superstitious guy. And uh, so a quick thing on superstition. Whoa, G-O-V-X just tanked. Hold on, guys. I just covered some out here. Uh, but um, yeah, feng shui, man. Feng shui is basically the energy you harness it. You know, it comes from the uh, the 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 Asian um, superstition. But you know what, man? I believe in it because you know why? It alleviates my anxiety. Anything that can alleviate my anxiety helps me trade better. So if if it may be knocking on wood, wearing your lucky shirt for the day when you trade. This, you know, like I have a lot of weird superstition, guys. I had to do laundry last night because I ran out of these black boxer briefs that I usually wear when I when I trade. <laughs> so I was walking around naked this morning, <laughs> uh, waiting for the dryer to dry so I could put on my lucky boxer briefs. Right. So, so whatever it may be to alleviate your anxiety is needed, including getting rid of your fucking toxic relationships. You know, a lot of times you don't want to carry upon. You know, from last night, you're fighting with your girlfriend, your friends, your family, whatever it may be, guys. So I always say, get your personal affairs in order, then you'll trade better. If your life is in chaos, your trades will be in chaos. Driving with Bao. Yeah, I need to bring that back, guys. Let me, I'll do that soon. Let me see. Next questions, guys. Anything you want, guys. Come, uh, we'll do this for another 10 minutes and then I'll get off. Mm -hmm. I'm still training this crap. How do you manage emotions while training? To be honest, I don't have time <laughs> to, to be emotional. I'm too busy focused staring at the charts, staring at the level two, staring at my process um, to even think. And so like when, when it's a reactionary, uh, I call it trading like a reflex. 
when the market opens. I'm so busy that I don't have time to think. All my thinking should have been done pre-market before the market opened. And so that's why I always talk about pre-planning your trades. If you pre-plan your trades, all you need to do when the market opens is to execute your trades. And so when that, and so there's no emotion when you already know what you're gonna do ahead of time. The, the emotions come in hindsight, after the fact, when you screw up and you overthink. And so stop overthinking. Overthinking is the killer, guys, in trading. The moment you overthink, you start to guess yourself, second guess yourself, and then that's how you blow up. Did you see SBFM? Oh, shit, I didn't see that. <laughs> now I see it. Thank you. <laughs> I did not trade it because I didn't see it. Will you ever trade dollar chat? I trade whatever I feel I have an edge on, guys. Um, large caps, like I always tell people, I, I don't see an edge for myself as long as small caps are running. Because small cap, you know, the, the end result is this is a scam, guys. I know that small caps are a scam. They're going to do offerings, things like that. I know the end game. And because I know the end game, I know these companies are not real. Therefore, uh, shorting is a huge edge. For me, you know, I wait until the top comes and then I can short the backside. And where I lose, though, is the day one bullshit because I get so bored of waiting for the backside that I start to nibble the front side. And then the market humbles you, you lose, and then you go, oh, shit, I'll never do that again. Of course, you do that again. But that's when you mitigate your risk, risk management. You have max daily losses, things like that, guys. So find whatever gives you an edge. If large cap gives you an edge, trade large caps. PGY is 17 bucks right now, guys. So don't cry too badly about missing shorting 12 bucks. Is zombie, you know, the zombie rule, you stop. And I want to tell you something about trading, guys. There's like, like same thing with uh, golf. There's many levels to golf, just like many levels to trading. When, when you start out with golf, you don't know how to pick up the golf club. You don't know how to swing the golf club. And so, you know, you have to get a tutor. You have to start somewhere, you know. And then you, imagine you have a hot shot guy who's like, you know, he's been, he's been playing golf for 10, 20 years, coming in and laughing at you the way you stroke. I mean, it's kind of like, what the fuck? Why is he trolling you? Seriously, same thing with trading. But the weird thing about trading is you have all these guys trolling, trolling people that can't trade. And all these guys are trying to trade, just trying to learn to trade. Same thing with, with like if you are a fat guy, fat person, obese person, going to the gym to lose weight, you gain um, made fun of by like a muscular guy, you're there to try to lose weight. And so fucking it's ridiculous when you see these guys try to do this. And this is why we, well, myself especially, has been trying to help people online, on Twitter, on social media, as you've seen, for a decade now. Because I want, because I was there, man. I was the little fucking guy that people made fun of. And, I, and so I don't understand why these motherfuckers are trolling People that don't know how to trade, obviously they're trying to learn how to trade. But you know, there's two types of people that don't, don't know how to trade. There are ones that are truly new and want to learn. Those are okay. I would help those guys. But then there are the guys that suck because of their attitude. They think that they 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 don't, they don't need help. That they blew up because they they did on themselves. So, so if they lost money, it means that trading is a scam. And those become the haters. The haters are the ones that are unsuccessful. The ones that, that lost all the money and they, they, they re, they're egotistical and refuse to trade, uh, to refuse to learn to trade. And so they become haters, guys. So don't be one of those. So the fact that you're here listening to, to this IG live from some strange guy <laughs> out in nowhere, you know, who you don't know, you know, it, it shows that you're trying to make a better life for yourself. So I'm always here to help you guys, man. You know my Instagram, so you know you, you, people hit me up day and night, man. I spend most of my time on that on that platform. But um, all right, we uh, one last question, guys. Life coach, yeah, man. I I, I might bring it back. I, I love that, man. I, I you know I've been busy with life, but um, it seems like it's fun to bring it back now. So maybe I'll do that soon, guys. Maybe Tuesday could be like that. Uh, any last questions, guys? Otherwise, I'll see you guys back online. Um, do this, guys. Do this. August 19th weekend, uh, there's a meetup, MIC meetup in Utah. Salt Lake City is the airport, as in Provo. So you go myinvestingclub.com slash meetup. Make sure you fucking attend. I'm not fucking joking, guys. Make sure you attend. We had a meetup in SoCal, man. 
We have meetups in Bay Area and all this stuff. So, but the f- next big meetup is our anniversary, four year anniversary. Show up. This will change your life. I don't give a fuck what you got to do. Take the day off from work, whatever it may be. This is your opportunity. It's completely free, open to everybody. You don't have to be a member. Okay, meet people that will change your fucking life. Where can you meet millionaires? Where can you meet guys that are wanting to be millionaires? Where can you meet successful corporate people, uh, leaders, students, everybody from every walk of life, every ethnicity around the world, guys. This is, you can bring your wife, your freaking concubine, your mistress, <laughs> your side bitch, your side hoe, whatever. You can bring, <laughs> bring me one too. <laughs> if, you, if you bring your side hoe, bring me one too. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, this, I'm telling you right now, guys, you, this is an opportunity of a fucking lifetime, guys. You're going to meet, if you need a job, you know, you show up, maybe I'm pretty sure there's hiring managers from, from other industries. But the key is, you know how hard it is to find real good friends, really good people that really want to make something of themselves, that it's just not out there clubbing all night and fucking doing drugs or whatever. And don't get me wrong, dude, I like to partake in self-medication too, but I work my ass off so I can deserve the right to get drunk, you know. Um, you surround yourself with very good quality people because those people will fucking... Be your mentors, your buddies, your friends, all that, guys. And where can you meet them? No one has meetups. We are the only ones. MIC. Because you know why? We are the only ones that don't scam people. We don't scam people. We can walk around in public. All these guys are hating on us. I have, I think they're just fucking jealous. I don't know. Maybe I'm too good. I have fucking no idea. You don't see their fucking face. You know, I show my ugly face all day long. You know, because we're honest people, guys. And so I'm telling you right now, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Whatever you fucking do, do not miss this, this event. Because this event will change your life. I guarantee fucking to you, man. Just meeting the people and knowing that there are good people out there who is willing to help you. It's free, guys. I'm not charging shit. You know, we're giving free pizza and beer too. Uh, the, I just want you guys to meet quality people. You know, these are, could be your lifelong friends. They, they don't have... It doesn't even necessarily have to be trading. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This is like the country club for the everyday man. Okay, guys? So I'll see you guys in Utah. Make sure you freaking have, if, attend, dude. I do not want you guys to miss this. You got, you're an idiot if you miss this. This is an opportunity of a fucking lifetime. No one does this for free, guys. Everyone charges. And, the, you know, they're all scammers out there, guys. Okay, so I'll see you guys in Utah. And I'll see you guys online.